Howdy y'all. Just want to talk about CDS valve over current alarm. So a lot of people misunderstand these valves. Now as you can see, this is a CDS-9 7 8 port. Very important valve to run a system. A lot of misconception about these valves. Uh, you ever get an over current alarm? It is never a spliced wire. It is never the board. Now what you want to do is, you see all this tarnish here on this valve. You got to clean that up real good. So you want to remove the valve so you can get it really, really good. And uh, then you want to pop her back in, problem solved. Now, this is a two-man, three-day job. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this, and then I'll show you the aftermath when we're done, all right? Maybe a little example video of sanding. All right, I'll be back. All right, just doing a little demonstration on how to sand her. You definitely want to go do back and forth. You really don't want to hit the tag. It's important to keep the tag. Okay? And you just want to sand the motor because that's where the tarnish affects the motor. And you want to sand it like that and give it a nice cross hatch like that. Kind of like honing a cylinder in an engine. Alright, so that's a pretty good example. And uh, I'll get back to you when we're done. So this is why it takes like three days and two guys to do this. We've been here all day just getting this far. Alright, and then we got to go over it with some degreaser. We'll go ahead and show you what she looks like after that. All right, we got her all degreased and actually installed back in. And as you can see, look at that. That's a beautiful looking valve. Over current alarm, fixed. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube video. If you have any questions, you can reach me at my number. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe. Hey, guys. CDS Valve Man here again. Uh, thanks for the love and the feedback, guys. Uh, a lot of you had a couple of questions about the valve and vacuuming product processes. Uh, no need to vacuum that valve that's self-vacuuming. Uh, what you do have to do is come over to the CESR board right here and you want to pull the power plug and then wait for the red flashing lights to come on as you can see right there and then they'll turn yellow. You do that three times. Self-vacuuming valve, great valve. Talk to you later.